Good morning everybody. So I've been up since 30 minutes ago and I'm still laying in bed as you can see. I opened up the curtain and I noticed that it's raining and checking the weather forecast it's going to be raining all day long. So Satoshi and I we talked about it we thought a good thing to do today is to just order delivery food the entire day just like we did before. But today the theme is, and we're going to be trying to stick to this theme, Japanese food. To be honest with you, I'm not that hungry. So I think I'm just gonna get like a tea or something. Okay. And how about this place? Ueshima Coffee House Asagaya. Alright. I'm gonna order Satoshi a pizza toast because that is the only sort of Japanese y thing that's on the menu. Pizza toast is definitely, I think, a Japanese invention for sure. And then uh, I'm gonna be ordering Satoshi. A cup of coffee for Satoshi. I'm gonna be ordering myself an unsweetened milk tea regular size. Today's video is sponsored by Kokoro Cares, a one-of-a-kind service that delivers authentic high-quality products from Japan to customers around the world. Now they are a little bit different from other snack services because although Sometimes you'll find a snack or two in your box. They mostly focus on authentic ingredients and products. Every month they focus on a particular region in Japan. For example, this month it's all about the Tohoku region. That's the box that we got. And this one includes six products. There's one snack, it's a senbei. But the other products are really, really, I think hard to find products outside of Japan. I, I love this. And the fact that they work with local farmers and producers make this subscription service very special. Next month's box is Okinawa, followed by Kyoto, Kyushu, and then Kanagawa. Mm. Yeah, so these are all great places, um, you know, for food and great places to visit as well. In addition to their monthly and seasonal care packages, they also have permanent collection care packages available year-round. Their Creative Beginnings or Redefining Wa has all the essential Japanese cooking ingredients and they have plans to launch a noodle, tea, and snack box real soon. I really like the idea of this, this uh, kind of service, you know, like this is something that I would send my mother because my, my mother is not really into snacks and this is something she might appreciate. So make sure to take advantage of the 10% discount off your first box by using the link in the description below this video. So Satoshi, I took the liberty of ordering us breakfast. Thank you. Sure, my pleasure. From Ueshima Coffee in Asagaya, someplace who never went to. What I ordered you was a pizza toast because like I mentioned to everyone, today the theme is Japanese. So Japanese. It has to be Japanese. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any Japanese breakfast. Japanese, Japanese breakfast. <laughs> that would be delivered to our place. Like grilled salmon or set. natto miso <laughs> natto soup, you know, none of that. <laughs> pizza toast is something that I remember eating at Japanese coffee shops, kisaten, when I was a kid uh, because it was something that we didn't have in Hawaii and I think back then Japan didn't have proper pizzas, like this was the pizza. So I consider this yoshoku or westernized Japanese food. I also got you a regular coffee. Thank you. And I got myself an unsweetened milk tea. I, I need coffee in the morning. Mm, My first job of the morning is drinking coffee. Is coffee. <laughs> well, mine is some kind of tea usually or decaf. Itadakimasu. Mm, mm. That's nice. Mm. Mm. Mild, but it has bitterness mm -hmm. and depth. Yeah, mm. I like this milk tea. Uh, it has to have a nice tea taste. You know, it can't just taste like milk. And this one, I can definitely taste the tea. Let's try pizza toast. Mm. 
It's beautiful and bread, uh, the bread is different from the regular Japanese shokupan. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Yeah, it's a pretty thick、mm. piece of almost rustic looking bread. Mm, mm. Mm. This is really good. Really? <laughs> really? It's really good? It's, maybe it's、Now、Japanese. I'm curious. My Japanese palate.、Mm. This is very good for me. It's cheesy.、Mm-hmm. Um, the bell pepper and bacon taste、mm-hmm. or ham taste.、Yeah. It's really good. You know what it is? It's the balance of flavors and texture.、Mm-hmm. Like there's tanginess from the tomato sauce,、mm. the meaty taste from the bacon.、Mm. And、the vegetables are crispy.、Mm. Alright, so we had a great breakfast. Can't wait to have lunch. It takes about two or three hours for one video. It's lunchtime! Finally, rain stopped! Yes! We came to our balcony. We newly installed these tables and the tiles. Yeah, and chairs. And chairs. And chairs. <laughs> and you know, although it's cloudy, it's so nice being outside, breathing in the fresh air. It's so nice. And flower. And flowers. Aroma、yes. from gardenia. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what did we get for lunch today? Today, we ordered from Kojia Saishokudo. It's a Japanese restaurant, especially using koji. In the Kokoro Cares package, they included koji for fish. That's right, that's right. So you can make、mm. your own koji marinated fish at home. So mine is a Torosaba Shio Koji Teishoku. It's a makaro. Makaro. Yummy. Three、does. pieces of makaro.、Mm. And rice is five grains rice and salad.、Mm. And I found sweet potato inside. I know, that's so nice.、Mm. And there's also a piece of tamagoyaki or Japanese omelet. I decided to get the shio koji chicken. So, this is chicken marinated in that shio koji. And yeah, it looks really good.、Mm-hmm. It looks healthy too. Yeah, yeah. And it wasn't that expensive. It was 1,450 yen per dish. So, that's a pretty good price. Shio koji is a multi purpose condiment. So, it's It's very useful for our cooking. Oh, yeah. All right, so let's get started. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. So, I am going to dig into my chicken, I guess.、Mm-hmm. They also gave us grated radish. Right.、So、That's I, for you. Yes,、yeah, for the fish. Yeah, yeah for fish.、Mm. I, I put so, a little bit of soy sauce inside and、mm. put on my fish.、Mm. Itadakimasu. I have to say, my chicken、mm. is very, very tender. Mm. That's probably the shio koji, right? Because、mm. I hear the shio koji actually tenderizes meat.、Mm. How's your fish? It's flavorful. Really? It's very flavorful. m a c k e r e l I love this.、Mm. My chicken's、mm. nice too. Mm. Mm. Also, it's tender.、Mm. Whenever I bite of the, the five grain rice,、mm. I love five grain rice.、Mm. Very nice. Mm. Mm. I think there's some azuki beans in here. Azuki beans?、Mm-hmm. Ah. Yep. And I eat, I eat my mackerel without grated radish, but it has a flavor of shio koji, a little bit salt flavor. <laughs> mm. Mm. Can I just trade a piece of fish? I, I'll、okay. just have a small piece of fish, I'll give you、mm. a piece of chicken.、Mm. Oh, that fish. So tender.、Oh, mm. That fish is so juicy. Mm. Mm. And so flavorful. Mm. Mm. You are chicken. So tender. It is.、Mm. Crunchy. It's sak sak. I think that the dressing、mm-hmm. is made with shio koji.、Mm-hmm. I'm not sure. It's tasting a little bit like shio koji. No? Well,、It's、that's just, right. Right? Mm. Right? Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Shio koji is also good for dressing. Mmm. Mm. And the, the, the portion of this lunchbox is very nice. Yeah. It's not too much, not too less.、Mm-hmm. It's good. Yeah. Do you remember the last time we, we did like a. One day delivery, the last time we had for lunch, the portion was humongous. Do you remember? <laughs> There was like so much food. 
All right, guys, we're gonna finish eating. The next meal is going to be tea time. It's tea time guys. Today we're going to try out a couple of things from the box that we got from Kokoro Cares. This box included a packet of tea and two packages of traditional rice crackers. So this cracker is called Shibukawa no Goma Senpei from Aomori Prefecture. Mm. This shop is located in a small village uh, but the population is 30,000. They established their business 1912. 1912, well that's a long time. Mm. Okay, we're gonna pair that with some brown rice tea called Gemaicha. And this is from Miyagi Prefecture. The ingredients are green tea, roasted brown tea, and uguisu rice cracker. This tea is called Date Cha because it is named after Date Masamune, which is a legendary Japanese warrior and a leader from the early Edo period who also planted Japan's northernmost tea and rice fields. Very interesting. Hi, The aroma, I love this Genmai tea aroma. Oh, mm. it's very refreshing. I really needed a pick-me-up actually. This, very this genmai tea, it's a combination of green tea and mm. genmai flavor. Mm. It's mild. mild. It is. tea flavor. It is. And you, you can still taste the green tea. Mm -hmm. Sometimes genmai cha, there is more um, brown rice, I think. So I taste more of the roasted flavor. But this one, I can actually taste the green tea. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Mm. Okay, let's try the senbe. Senbe. I love trying you know, these types of like regional snacks. Mm -hmm. They really, really do. Mm -hmm. They only use only flour, sesame, and salt. Oh, oh yeah. Mm. 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 Nothing what I expected. For, for some reason, I thought this was going to taste sweet. I've ah, had crackers like, like this, yeah. <laughs> and they taste kind of sweet, but it's not. It's actually a little bit salty, mm -hmm. very simple in taste. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mmm. Oh shit. Mmm. Mm. 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 This is nice. I'm from Tohoku area, but I did not know these crackers and tea. Mm. Now you know. Mm. You know what guys? It's no longer rainy. <laughs> Thank goodness. I'm gonna go get some exercise. I was planning to go around the block with a bicycle, but mm -hmm. I ended up going a little bit further. Mm -hmm. But that was good exercise, and that made me really hungry. This is from Aya, mm. Japanese restaurant. Yes, this is a Japanese restaurant chain that's found all over the country, usually in the suburban area, but it's one of my favorite Japanese chain restaurants. 
Today I got shokado bento. And I decided to do a uh, low carb because it is dinner time. I got myself a platter of uh, teriyaki chicken and tsukune kushi, which is basically a ground chicken on a skewer. This comes with a sauce. And by the way, can I just say how nice and how careful they pack everything. I'm gonna start off with a bite of my salad. I'm gonna have a tomato. Mm, mm hmm Nice. Tomato. I like I like fresh tomatoes in my salad. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Well, basically, shokato <laughs> bento is like this. They're, they're usually in different compartments mm -hmm. and usually consists of your rice, your deep fried food, your simmered food, and um, I think a protein like a chicken or a piece of meat or fish. I'm not really eating my salad. Shrimp. I love my dressing, by the way. This is a, like a sesame seed mm. dressing and it's a little bit tart. I love it and I love all the seaweed in here. How's the shrimp pepper? Oh, mm, good. Mm, mm. Mm. I didn't expect so much Hunto? because it is very bad, but this is good. This is good. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Fish. Mm. Some kind of fish. Yeah, looks like it's either marinated in miso yeah. or something, mm. right? Miso. Miso? Mm. Really? Mm. That's good. Mm. Good flavor. Mm. Alright, I'm going to take a bite of my tsukune, the, the chicken, uh, ground chicken on the skewer. Mmm. Nice. And there's like little bits of crunchy, I think it's cartilage. I know it sounds weird if you've never had it. Don't knock it till you try it because the cartilage is really nice. There's absolutely no taste. It just adds texture. I, I want to eat this shrimp mm. cake. Okay. Maybe it's ebi shinjo. Mm, I love shinjo. Mm. It's basically like a fish paste, but I guess this one could be shrimp paste. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Mm. Is it shrimp? Mm. Yeah? Mm. Mm. I love this. <laughs> How's the mm. rice flavor? Mm. Is it flavored well? Cooked well? They are using good dashi. Mm. 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 A lot of umami mm. in that rice. Huh? I can enjoy the burdock dashi flavor. Oh, so there's mm. burdock in there burdock. as well. Mm. Oh, there's gobo. Mm. I love gobo. I have like one, two, three, like six pieces of chicken in here. This is not bad. This is 690 yen for oh, really? my platter of yeah, chicken. Mm. It become a very mm, delicious. good beer mm. no tsunami. Mm. <laughs> good for beer. Bamboo shoots. Mm. Love bamboo shoots. Mm. Mm. Usually mm. a lot of bamboo shoots during the springtime. Today, I spent a very busy day, <laughs> but Delivery food is very helpful for me. Mm. I, I didn't have to cook. Today's lunch, healthy shiokoji mackerel. Mackerel. Yeah, that, that was good. That was good. I actually preferred yours to my chicken. I have to say what stood out for me today is what I'm, what's in front of me right now, this uh, chicken platter. I don't know why. It's really simple. I really didn't expect much, but this super flavorful would definitely order this again. Thank you so much for watching guys. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. And don't forget to take advantage of that 10% off your own box from Kokoro Cares. Use that link in the description below. Thank you for watching. See you on next delicious video. Bye! Bye everybody!